Hey guys. My name is Cougar Draven. And, uh, we're going to be playing some Portal today. Portal 2, to be exact. I've been wanting to play this for a while. So, um, uh, I, you know, it's been a couple of months since I've actually sat down and played the game. I've beaten the game, of course, but, you know, I, like I said, I haven't been able to play in some time, so it might take me a little bit of time to get up to speed, but that's why we're going to play through the, the actual campaign. So, um, uh, I've got my timer here, so I know how long I'm uh, recording, which is great. I've got roughly 60 hours to play, and it's not going to take me that long. Let's um, uh, check my audio options here. Brightness, let's turn that up a little a little bit, just trying to practice a little bit. Uh, no, music's awesome. Done. Controller, button layout. Uh, looks like it's just um, which button you have on your. Yeah, I, I'm used to the I'm used to the default. So vertical look type. In Inverted, which is the part I like. Okay, everything's good to go. Let's play some single player portal. New game. Start with the courtesy call because the entire point of this is to play a new game of portal. So, I'm sorry if you can hear my mic moving. I'm trying to get in a comfortable position, which is harder than you might think. Because I know I'm going to pick up some of the sound from the TV, so I'm just trying to make that minimal. So, <laughs> I can almost hear a. Oh yes, and if you hear a little whirring sound in the back, that is the air conditioner. Sorry, I can see it on the uh, audio graph. I'm gonna try to. I don't know. I'm gonna try to work with the audio because it looks like um, everything is turned down right now. But we'll see. We'll have to just see, won't we? There we go. Sorry, I had to give myself a good couple of seconds of uh, no sound so that I can cut out. A lot of stuff. Oh! Good, Good morning. morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Okay. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical yeah. and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, <laughs> stare at the art. Stare at the art. It, it just it concerns me that the gymnastic portion moving about you should now is feel mentally seat. reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Thank Good. You. Now, please return to your bed. Um, okay, sure. Yeah. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call is to inform... Hello? Anyone in there? The enrichment center. Hello? Oh, really? Are you, are you going open the door? Will be at any time? Exercised his or her right I was. Hello? Oh, okay. no. For the duration of the Are you going to open this door? Ah! Ah! God, God, you look um good, looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time yeah. for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. We don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Oh boy. Uh, 
Huh? You alright down there? Can you hear me? Hello? I'm fine, Wheatley. I know I'm talking to a computer that can't hear me, but I'm fine. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But oh, don't be alarmed, really? all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Well, I, I prefer. All I've reactor liked core the safeguards are now non-functional. Please uh, prepare for reactor core meltdown. I've always liked the theory that we the. Um, uh, okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Doesn't. How you doing down there? You still holding on? The challenge just doesn't talk because. The reserve um, power okay. ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Yeah. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? They shouldn't, you're an what idiot. What should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Well, right, it's close. Yeah. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Oh, boy. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault yeah. do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Hey, it's not coming All down. Right, so no, I hit that one. I hit that one. All right, you know what? I am actually gonna turn the sound a little bit down because well, let's turn that down to about there so that I can actually hear myself. I keep getting distracted by the sounds, which is probably not the best plan, but, you know, hey, whatever. I, I love Wheatley. Turn again. Alright, that's better. Okay, listen, we should get our story um, straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. Yeah. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. To be exact, the docking station is 500, meet, 500 feet below, which it says on that wall right there. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. We're going to get a bit technical. <laughs> manual Hold override on. on the wall. That's great. But yeah, I... Um... Almost there. Remember... You're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Alright. I'm free to go. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper, so you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. All right. Um. Uh, before I get going here, or rather, I'm That's actually. The spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Oh yes, this. We here. are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support, so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Give me the portal. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. All right, then. This is the old one. We all remember this one, 0019. Um, before I get going here, uh, I know it's been almost 10 minutes. Um... I've always, sorry, I, I'm hoping I won't be too distracted by the awesomeness of Portal or, you know, the thinking stuff. Cube because... and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. 
You have just passed through an Aperture Science Material Emancipation Drill, which vaporizes most Aperture Science equipment that touches- I love the redesign of the, of the Material Emancipation Drill for Portal 1. Um, but you know, okay. And the elevators. The elevators are nice looking. I, I, there's a lot I love about Portal 2. I, I just really, there's a lot I love. So, um, but, you know. It's it's a great game, it really is. It's it's fun. I have never. I, I did not. If you I did not have any laughing down your neck. Relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Ha ha! You guys are fun. Chamber number one. Oh, wow. Things have gone down here in the past 100 to 200 to 300,000 years or whatever. Um, push that button. Get the cube. Get the cube the hell out of here. Actually, just drop it right here. This button. Come on, cube. Cube on the button. And then push that button. Again, this is just because a. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. That's a good Before thing. re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. This is, uh, this is nice. I was like, I, you know, the last time I played, I was playing Portal, and just, uh, you know, these are the same test chambers as the original Portal, just redone slightly. You don't actually go through all 19, that would just be kind of silly, but you do start with the same thing, just kind of familiarize yourself with the game, and they change things in such, in, in, in just great ways. I like it. So, and loading screen, and loading screen. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Glow cloud? Is that what they're talking about? The glow cloud? No, that couldn't be. That's the second glow cloud reference I've made today. Oh, that, that's right. That reminds me. Hey, you made it. Shut up, Wheatley. Very Should well. be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? And uh, yeah, no, not really. No. It's all right. No, go on. Just have a look about. Uh, no, that's right. Over by the podium. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, Wheatley. Hello. Thanks. Can you see the portal gun? No. Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. Yeah, go team. All right, got the portal. Got the portal. Um, I am good to go. I am out. Uh, I'll try to go this way. Um. Yeah. So the reason I'm playing this now, I was gonna play this today anyway, but the reason I'm playing this specifically right now, I recorded three videos in my uh, Legends of the Link to the Past playthrough. And I, you know, I've been trying to, I've been trying to keep to one. I'm trying to cut down because I've got something like five or six games running right now that I can't record weekly videos on, and uh, I don't know. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Right to share, but yeah. So I recorded a, uh, an hour and a half. Of Link's Awakening, only to find in the end that um, uh, I, I don't know. Only to find that you know, 
I had recorded an hour and a half of video without my microphone even being connected. So I played. Good. If you feel that a local uh. military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self reporting yeah. form. I, I recorded uh, an hour and a half of video, didn't have my microphone working, which it is working now, and I'm distracted by the awesomeness of, my, of one of my favorite games. Sorry. But put simply. That's a nice touch. While I'm waiting. Um, yeah, so I just. I got dejected. I've got the video, but since I did the automatic save, because I died once in the game, I have to. Basically, I can't replay those hour, that hour and a half video, which is three dungeons worth of video. Or no, just two. Just two dungeons. No, three dungeons worth of video. So I have three dungeons worth this of video. This test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Sorry, I love the song. Well then, I actually have that song. That's a great song. It's uh, called Offering by a guy named Larry Stevens. Right, so... Let's just go ahead and pick that up, and we go. I don't know, um, yeah, I just, I, I do want to get back to it, but I, I don't want to have to sit down and, I'm going to have to sit down and actually record post com commentary and post, and I don't really like doing that. I, I just, I never have. I don't know. All right, I need to actually, um, yeah. My mistake. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Didn't think so. Now what? Oh, there we go. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Right, and then boom! Yeah, still dealing with um, the same old stuff that I've dealt with before, which is okay. Let's see, do I go up the stairs here? Let's... No, no, not yet, not yet. Stairs are here, let me look at the stairs. Oh yeah, this is one of the rat dens. Unreason. Yeah, this is one of the rat dens. I, uh... There, I don't remember what exactly a lot of the stuff means. Or, for that matter, why the companion cube over here has cat ears on it. I don't know. Or is that just a weighted storage cube? You can't tell with that kind of detail. I don't know. There's a lot of... Huh. I don't know. At some point I'll just check my trophy, see what I have and have not gotten. But for right now I just want to get to the first chapter. I don't remember how, how long the first chapter is actually. I think it'll tell me. It's, like I said, it's been months. And it's not like I memorize games. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Thank you, Aperture Science AI. Test 5 of 19. Okay. And see, the thing is, I know I'm going to have people, like, screaming at me, like, How come you're not doing this right? And the, the simple answer is because it's been forever since I actually knew how to do what the fuck I was, knew how to do this shit, so. Oh.
Okay, that's that's nice. How do I? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had to do this, so just have to. cube and drop it on well there and the enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak you are not alone all aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts that'll happen that'll come back later This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. The well, laws of physics apply enough in the future to get the fuck off of my... I don't even know if I actually get any uh, bonus for that, but, you know. Ah. Yep. And... Vroosh. Right, I need to... I need to... No, I don't need that. I need box. There's the box. Oh, I guess I gotta... We need to get the box. Get the box. And fall through and got it. Alright. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, so. Blue. Alright, so let's see. First things first. What else if I do that? Is there something up there? Is there something up there I can get? There's that I can get. Though you don't have the voice, you don't have the, the sultry tones of GLaDOS saying, hey, stop that, please. Uh, I'm trying to remember which order you do this in. Let's start with you, and then jump, and fly across the room, and get the... Can I take it over here? No, I can't. Let's fall and that's okay. It's already here. So right about to Huh. Like I said, you're gonna have to forgive me if I don't remember what I need to do in order to progress through this game because it's been several months since I played in the first place and I'm not exactly the world's best portal player in the second place. So, let's just go ahead. Can I? No, I'm gonna look around. That's boring. Alright. Now, let's actually, you know what, that seems to me like something I should be able to do, so we're going to go ahead and do it and see what happens. Not a damn thing. Okay. 
I want to, you know, it's like, I feel like I should be able to get up there. But if I can't, I can't. So, just, um, go ahead and get through the door. I'm not really looking for any speed. Oh, god damn it. Ha! Huh. Good work getting this far, future starter. Yes. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back <laughs> someone better qualified for testing. Better qualified for testing. Okay. Ugh. Loading. Loading in. Aperture Laboratories. While we were out on the road today, we saw something called, like, Arizona Shower Door. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all Let's safety see. devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Yeah, we saw we saw a car out on the road today that said hey, it was... Hi, hi! I'm up here! Oh, wait, wait. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal car! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. But yeah, we saw we saw a door. We saw a car naming, okay, naming listen, itself up. Uh, I named itself up. Lay some money here, it's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me. All right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, <laughs> isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch Ow! Ow. Okay, so I didn't catch you. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> I can't move then. That's the problem there. Are you still are you still there? Could you pick me up, do you think? If you are there? Oh brilliant, thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Uh the stick on the wall? Where's the stick on the wall? I can't remember how this stick on the wall. Um Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. So we saw this, we saw this thing called um, just turn around uh, for a second? Arizona Shower Door, and I made the joke. Is that our is that our world's version of Aperture Science? Alright, you can turn around now. Because they um. Uh... Bam! Secret panel. Got I open while your back was turned. Pick me up and off we go. But yeah, so Please, no rail oh, to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just... Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. So yeah, we got we got off the rail, and now we're gonna follow the rail that we was on. So. Oh no. Yes. Hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No. Thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah. All right. Um. I don't know. We're doing stuff. Doing stuff. Doing stuff. That really, I, I'm, I'm actually really mad because my. Probably to bring you uh, up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. She's not. We want to just call it quits. And we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan. Now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Are we actually on the surface now? That's what I want to know. Because it doesn't look like we are. And it makes me wonder how deep do the channels okay, go. Okay, I'm going to leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. This is... I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. You're going to do something. There stupid. she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. Really? I know, I, know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this really human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. 
Then there was a sort of long yeah, chunk of time course. where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch it. I wouldn't ever not touch anything. Caution. That's our way out. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is... Ah! Oh, still held! Still being held. You think that's a great job. You've applied the grit, we're all fine. That's tremendous. Yeah, you don't really... Okay. Oh, we'd be such a lovable idiot if you can love this kind of idiot. I don't know. I, I... Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. Well, it's not that far down. That's gonna be an entertaining, uh, drop. This chapter five. is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Alright, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod, but as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else, look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at, well, look at other things, but don't, you understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. You know, this is a bad idea mostly because... Well, let there be light. That's, uh, God, it's quoting God. Yes. Oh, yeah. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. What are these actually it's saying? I thought, okay. you know, I, I would hope work, this being valid, that at down. least one of these would say no, something. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. But no. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. Oh, and of course it's just too far down to jump out of it. A, 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 um, A, 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 Too far down for me to jump. Wait, did I do B? Did you have a pen? Why is she? Why is she? Alright, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Nothing. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know it's been a long time. How have you been? Asleep. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Yeah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. <laughs> but I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. Oh, that, that sounds great. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. All uh, right. Yeah, I think this is where I'm going to call it quits at this point, because, I mean, I don't know if this is actually Chapter 2 or Chapter whatever. I don't know. But... I'm going to call it quits here because this is a great stopping point. GLaDOS has woken up. The first arc of the story is over. So, we're doing lots of fun, lots of fun. Ah, yes, the incinerator. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Uh. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna st I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits here. So I'm probably gonna start this over at this sequence. But for right now, I'm done. It's been fun, and we'll have to do this again. So, um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Cougar Dream, and this has been Portal 2. If you like it, let me know. And I hope you come, I hope you come back. See you guys later. Peace.